She was one of the survivors shot by the worst mass murderer in Grand Rapids history. April Swanson sat down with 24 Hour News 8 and told her story about a chance meeting with Roderick Dantzler in a 911 call that was the beginning of the end. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Colker is at the Grand Rapids Police Department now live with her story. Ken? Yeah, Brian, today April Swanson recalled the day that she stopped her car here at this corner near the Grand Rapids Police Department and came within inches of becoming victim number eight. I had turned and looked and it was Roderick and he just called out my name. He said, April, um, I need to talk to you. And I said, okay, hold on just a minute. April Swanson says it was a chance encounter that day with Roderick Dantzler, a longtime friend who lived near her neighborhood. He was in the back seat of a white SUV. She had just left school. He didn't look like himself. He just looked like a totally different person. He looked like um, just very panicked and um, very scared. And um, I think that's why he asked me to pull over and that he wanted to talk. Swanson had already seen on TV that he was wanted for seven murders, so she called 911. Within moments, police were following the SUV, which was following April Swanson, who kept talking to the dispatcher. So I kept driving down Ann Street, uh, passing Monroe. I went up to Plainfield, uh, told the lady, um, the dispatcher, every direction I was going in. The SUV driver, a friend of Dantzler's, jumped from the moving vehicle. It's not clear how Dantzler was able to take over the wheel. Then they reached the heart of downtown. That's when he pulled up to the left of me. And I was just strictly trying to drive and get out of the way. And that's when I heard him fire the gun. As many as two shots pierced her left upper arm, shattering a bone, which needed a plate and a dozen screws to put back together. I really felt no pain. Um, I felt my arm go limp. Um, I could feel my clothes being saturated with blood. Now, tonight at 6, April Swanson gives some insights into a possible motive and thanks to the officers who are credited with saving her life. In Grand Rapids, Ken Coker, 24-Hour News 8.